so welcome to this video lecture this is a continuation of the previous class so in this video so i am going to solve problem number 26 find the angle between the curves y square equal to 4x comma x square equal to 4y so what is y square equal to 4x graph so this is the model graph of y square equal to 4x and uh, x square equal to 4y is this one so this is y square equal to 4ax so this is x square equal to 4ay so so you can observe here we have two common points so here origin is one of the common point so another one let us treat this as p p is another point so first of all we will find this we uh, will find the the common points means point of intersection of this given curve so to find the intersecting points of the given curve we have to solve these two equations so given that y square equal to 4x call this as equation 1 and second one is x square equal to 4y call this as equation 2 so we will solve 1 and 2 so 1 implies y square equal to 4x this implies so this implies now take both sides square just I am taking both sides square. Just I am applying both sides square. So what we get? Y x power m whole power n x power m whole power n form x power m n two into two four equal to here four square into x square. This implies y power four equal to four square into x square. This so m now I am substituting x square value from equation two. That is four y. Okay, right. So this implies y power 4 is equals to so 4 power 2, 4 power 1, 4 power 3, y. So right, right on all terms one side, y power 4 minus 4 cube y equal to 0. So I am sending this term this side. So y power 4 minus 4 cube y equal to 0. So now take y outside here, y cube minus 4 cube equal to 0 y into y cube y power 4 y into 4 cube 4 cube 5 so here we have two terms so product of two terms equals 0 means either one is 0 otherwise the product won't 0 so y equals 0 r y cube minus 4 cube equal to 0 this implies y equals 0 r y cube equal to 4 4 cube so y equals 0 r y, y cube equal to 4 y cube equal to 4 cube means y equal to 4 so right if x is equal to 0 then substitute somewhere x is equal to, sorry y equal to 0 so if y equal to 0 then what is x value so substitute somewhere then from equation 2 x square equal to 4 into y 0 so this implies x square equal to 0 4 into 0 0 equal to x equal to 0 if y equal to 0 then x is equal to 0 therefore so 0 comma 0 is one of the intersecting point of given curves next uh, substitute if y is equal to 4 then then substitute somewhere to y equal to 4 then from 1 what is equation 1 y square equal to 4x this implies so substitute here y equal to 4 4 square equal to 4x so 4 square is 16 equal to 4x 4 1 is a 4 4 is a. this implies 4 equal to x therefore 0 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 are the intersecting point of intersecting points of 1 and 2 so this is uh, 0 of 0 comma 0 and this is uh, p of 4 comma 4 now we have to find the angle between the two curves at p of 4 comma 4 and 0 of 0 comma 0 right okay 
So now take the given curves y square equal to 4x, x square equal to 4y. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. d by dx of y square equal to d by dx of 4x. d by dx of y square. So this is not x. If it is x, you can write directly formula dx by d by dx of x square is 2x. So treat this y as x. d by dx of x square is 2x. But this is not x. So we have to take differentiation again. d by dx of 4x is 4. So finally we have dy by dx is equal to 4 by 2y. So dy by dx is equal to 2 to the 2 on the 2 by y. So what about this side? So differentiate both sides with respect to x dy dx of 4y dy dx of x square is 2x equals to dy dx of just take this 4 outside dy dx of x is dy by dx so 2x by 4 equals to dy by dx so x by 2 equals to dy by dx so let theta be the angle between 1 and 2 at the point at the point 4 comma 4 then m1 so slope of tangent of first curve so dy by dx at 4 comma 4 so m1 equals to what is dy by dx from first curve 2 by y 4 comma 4 equals to 2 by substitute y value this is x value this is y value so substitute y value 4 so this is 1 by 2 and uh, m2 equal to dy by dx at the point 4 comma 4 what is dy by dx from second curve x by 2 at 4 comma 4 now substitute x value 4 by 2 this is 2 so therefore tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 modulus so tan theta is equal to m1 m1 is 1 by 2 minus 2 by 1 plus 1 by 2 into 2 so tan theta is equal to so 1 comma 2 lcm 2 so 2 by 2 1 1 into 1 1 minus 2 by 1 2 2 into 2 4 so here 2 to get cancelled just we get this one so I am writing here only this one tan theta is equal to so 1 minus 4 minus 3 by 2 divided by 2 so 1 plus 1 2 so this one can be written as minus 3 by 2 into 2 4 so tan theta is equal to 3 by 4 so theta equals to tan inverse of 3 by 4 right ok next to find out the angle between given two curves at the point 0 comma 0 so let pi be the angle between the curves 1 and 2 curves 1 and 2 so then m1 dash so let us search in slope of uh, the tangent at first curve is m1 dash that is dy by dx at 0 comma 0 ok so m1 dash is equal to m1 dash is equal to so dy by dx what is dy by dx for first curve dy by dx that is 2 by y at 0 comma 0 which is equals 2 by 0 this is maybe infinity in slope of the curve is infinity means which is almost parallel to y axis right ok so let us see this side so m2 dash is equals to dy by dx at 0 comma 0 here what is dy by dx of second curve x by 2 
x by 2 at 0 comma 0 so which is equal to 0 by 2 equal to 0 so slope is 0 means this line is parallel to x axis the second tangent is parallel to y axis so first tangent is parallel to y axis second tangent is parallel to x axis means these two lines are perpendicular to each other so that's all so you can observe here the question so here so this is a first curve so tangent at 0 comma 0 is y axis so this is the second curve so tangent at 0 comma 0 is y so therefore the angle between the given two curves at 0 comma 0 is 90 means the given two curves are cut each other at 0 comma 0 perpendicularly so at the point 4 comma 4 so the angle is tan inverse 3 by 4 so thank you for watching if you like this video subscribe my channel for more videos